Friends, I have an absolutely fantastic update to bring you all. I'm really happy to do so. And it has everything to do with our good old buddy and pal, Madison Cawthorn. But not just him, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But Madison's had a really bad few weeks, hasn't he? And it's gotten worse. You'd say, how could it get any worse? He's lost his primary. His career is basically over before it ever even started. But just today, he took a gigantic defeat in court. A massive loss in the legal system. But it's not just hitting him. It's also a direct big defeat for Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald Trump. And it has everything to do with the fact that, yes, they can indeed be removed from the ballot in several key states necessary to win the presidency and stay in office. It says here, a federal appeals court ruled on Tuesday that those who engaged in an insurrection could be barred from running for office in the future. The decision comes from a challenge to Madison Cawthorn, who lost his election just a week ago. A judge had previously ruled in Cawthorn's favor, citing an 1872 amnesty law passed by Congress. But the Circuit Court of Appeals, the Fourth Circuit, overturned that ruling. Quote, to ask such a question is nearly to answer it, the court filing said. Consistent with the statutory text and context, we hold that the 1872 Amnesty Act removed the 14th Amendment's eligibility bar only for those constitutionally wrongful acts occurring before its enactment. Accordingly, we reversed the, the district court's grant of injunctive relief and remand for further proceedings. And so what that says is that Madison Cawthorn's argument, and we'll get to it, but it applies to Green Trump as well, is that even if you did prove they were insurrectionists, even if you did, they couldn't be barred because that was supposed to only apply to people who were traitors in the Civil War era. It doesn't actually apply after that fact, but the appeals court says that's BS and it directly referenced the danger this has to Marjorie Taylor Greene and others because this case was brought by the same people that are currently working and are not yet done trying to remove Greene from the ballot. It says here, the court cited a recent ruling in another case led by Free Speech for People involving Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene in which a federal judge in the Northern District of Georgia also ruled that the 1872 Amnesty Act did not apply to future insurrectionists. While Madison Cawthorn has conceded his loss in the primary election, the court ruled that the federal case is not legally moot and remanded the case to the district court. This ruling cements the growing judicial consensus that the 1872 Amnesty Act does not not shield the insurrectionists of January 6, 2021, including Donald Trump, from the consequences of their action under the 14th Amendment and provides no basis to block state proceedings seeking to exclude insurrectionists from the ballot. And so this is a big moment, guys. It's a massive moment because fundamentally it really gives no excuse not to remove these people. Now I think the courts are in a much tougher position because they were sort of trying to have it both ways. On the one hand, they were trying to maybe make the argument that yes, we're going to treat this trial as seriously as we can. We're going to actually debate all this. But in the back of everyone's mind, before this ruling just came down, there was the real fear that even if you did get a court to say, yes, Trump is an insurrectionist, yes, Cawthorn is an insurrectionist. Yes, Green is an insurrectionist. They could therefore just go and say, actually, we were given an amnesty by the 1872 thing. The constitutional provision doesn't apply to us because it was for a certain context. Blah, blah, blah. Ergo, we're able to stay on. But what this court has said, one of the highest courts in the entire country, is that insurrectionists can and indeed should be banned from holding office. Now, we have to say, of course, that this isn't a ruling on whether Green or Cawthorn or Trump are insurrectionists, but it does certainly create that opening that didn't exist yesterday. Now, there is a far realer chance than ever before, not only that Cawthorn and Green could be banned from running for office for life, which means their career would be over, but it also means that in crucial states like Georgia and North Carolina and many others, Donald Trump could be barred from the ballot, which would effectively destroy his ability to become president because no Republican can and become president unless they can win some of these crucial southern states. Some of the other southern states are deep red ones that the Republicans have to take for granted. And if he's ruled an insurrectionist, he would be banned from five minimum states. So we can thank Madison Cawthorn, guys. Not only is he losing, not only is his career over, not only did we get to enjoy all of that, but on his way out, he takes a legal defeat that blew up and destroyed Green and Trump and many others in the process.